read books, you will see that the lessons we are collectively sharing are reiterations of the same lessons from past warrior generations. When we saw that black plume of smoke, we didn't know if we'd be too late or not. It didn't matter uh, because we knew that they would do the same thing for us. So I had never, ever met those two guys. I had no idea who they were. Uh, I just knew they were pilots. They were Marines and they were in a helicopter and they were shot down. And I didn't have to know those two guys. I just knew they were Marines. And that we were gonna do everything we could to save them, to help them, to get them back, to do whatever. What if there's a chance you would not be able to live with yourself if you didn't risk everything that you had? Situation. Operation Thresher was planned sometime in June of 2010, while 3rd Battalion, 3rd Marines, was deployed to the Helmand Province in Afghanistan. I guess my earliest memories of that day, we were coming through clearing southwest, I think. We had hit a couple of compounds, kind of like at the same, all at the same time. We heard, you know, we heard an explosion. I think I said something along the lines of, well, that, that's not good. If that's an IED, somebody's dead. I remember uh, Sergeant Fiku, first squad leader, looking at it for a minute and saying, hey, there's, sir, that's, that's, that's I think that's a helicopter. You know, and I wanted to get there as fast as we possibly could because I knew we were, I, I thought we would have been their best chance driving 20 miles away. We got there within like 25 minutes of a 5K. That's with Marines completely loaded down for a three day clearing up. The movement there, it's in, in and of itself was, to this date, like the physically most hardest thing I've ever done in my life. It was at least three clicks in 120 something degree weather. I, I, was, I was toasted. I've never seen anything drive uh, human beings like that before. And I'm like, it's three miles away. Normally in, a, in a, even a decent patrol route, it's gonna be an hour trip. How, how they get here so soon. I think we were just invigorated by the fact that time was of the essence. Hey, I didn't have to know those two guys. I just knew they were Marines. And that we were gonna do everything we could to save them, to help them, to get them back, to do whatever. Maybe there's a chance you can do something. Maybe there's a chance somebody's still alive over there. Maybe there's a chance, right, that you can get there before the enemy. Maybe there's a chance. There was a knife that one of those pilots uh, wanted to make sure that his son had. It took us probably about five or 10 minutes to uh, locate it, but we found it. We were able to, to get that pushed over to him. HMLA 369 so they can get it to his sons. It meant a lot uh, because he wanted his son to have it. That's important. I have, I have two sons. And to me, that's very important to be able to give them something. <laughs> 